Hey everyone, Steven here from Rata Lessons. Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well. So here we have a decant of the brand new Mancera fragrance. It's called Intense Cedrat Boise. Cedrat Boise is probably the most popular Mancera fragrance for the simple fact that it smells a whole lot like Crete Aventus. And you guys know that Mancera fragrances on average are a lot more inexpensive than Creed fragrances. And so here we have what is potentially an intense version of that. Shout out to my friend Chris from Casual Fragrances for letting me keep what was left of of his decant. I spent a few days wearing it, so now I'm excited to review it. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on this brand new fragrance, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's video and I tell you all about Intense Cedrat Boise by Mancera, and I let you know if I find it to be similar to the original, if I actually do find it to be intense or a more intense version of the original, all that good stuff, I do want to start things off by mentioning that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it, hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time I do upload a future video to the channel, and of course, give this video a thumbs up if you take something of value from today's review. Now, I do have the original Cedra Boise. I think I did a review on it some time ago. If I did and I remember, I'm gonna leave a card to that up here. But basically, Cedra Boise, by many people, has kind of acquired the narrative of being a smoother version of Creed Aventus. Now, if you guys don't know, Creed Aventus is probably one of the more sought after niche fragrances on the market. Pineapple, apple, birch, black currant, jasmine, cedarwood, vanilla. It's a very addictive fragrance. It also happens to be my most complimented niche fragrance in my collection. So here we have what is potentially an intense version of a fragrance that mimics Creed Aventus. And so I'm excited to give you my thoughts on it now that I've spent a bit of time wearing it and playing around with it. First thing I want to say is it smells amazing. <laughs> I love this fragrance. If you're a fan of Cedra Boise, I can't fathom that there would be somebody who wouldn't like this fragrance. It actually does smell very, very, very good. So with this fragrance in particular, it does open up with this bright, effervescent, citrusy component, and you are gonna get a lot of citrus in the opening, akin to the citrus opening that you're gonna get from the original. Now, looking at the note breakdown, it actually gets a little bit darker. You have spices, you have leather, you have Cambodian oud. So you're like, wait a second, with these woodsy ingredients, and the spices and the leather, is this really going to be a much darker or a much more intense version than the original? The first thing that I want to mention is doing a side-by-side, -side, you can tell that this is a close cousin or perhaps even a sibling of the original. And I do like that. I like when fragrances don't make something completely different, but then they just use the name to try to make sales, right? That happens all the time and unsuspecting consumers will purchase the flanker thinking it's going to bear at least somewhat of a resemblance to the original, but it doesn't, right? I'm not gonna say any names, but we all can think of a brand or two that has done that. This actually does smell like the original Cedra Boise with a twist. So it does go in a bit of a different direction. Now, it has black currant in the opening and the black currant gives it a little bit of a musky vibe and you know, it's a smell that can for some be an acquired taste, but it's used in a very mild concentration in this fragrance. So it's not overly musky. As a matter of fact, I actually do get a lot of vanilla from this fragrance. And on an online fragrance forum that I checked, the vanilla wasn't even rated too strong in this scent, which I think is kind of an error because I do actually get a lot of vanilla. The vanilla in here is very amicable, very creamy, very sweet. And as a matter of fact, it reminds me of the vanilla that is found in Nishane Ani. It also reminds me of the vanilla that is found in Imperium by Electimus London. Imperium by Electimus London is also a fragrance that is kind of similar to Crete Aventus, with the exception being that there is a lot of vanilla, right? So imagine like the sweetest batch of Creed Aventus that you can imagine. So in this fragrance, I think it has been made more intense on account of 
being able to smell a lot of that vanilla in here. You still get the fruitiness, you still get that citrusy quality. In terms of that Cambodian oud note, I've smelled a lot of fragrances with Cambodian oud, even as a creative director. I have personally worked with Cambodian oud and Laotian oud, and I recently reviewed a fragrance called Cam Remarkable by The Perfumist, which has a lot of that. This fragrance, I'm not getting so much Cambodian oud from, so I don't know if it's, you know, just a tiny drop or if it's something that is not really intended to be too um, conspicuous, but you're not gonna get a lot of oud from it. The spices, yes, that's a little bit more convincing. The leather, again, you know, spices contribute to the synthesis of a leather accord. So yeah, um, kind of, you know, by association, I can see that being in here as well. But for me, bright, citrusy, a little spicy, a little musky on account of the black currant, but a whole lot of that vanilla. You know, it's funny because there's a lot more vanilla in this than there is in the original, but it's still not enough to put it in gourmand territory. So it really is one of these fragrances that you have to try. What I do think is going to happen though, is that you know, amplified vanilla is going to give it a few more hours of longevity because it is functioning as a fixative and a base note. It is going to increase the complement factor because vanilla kind of has this aphrodisiac quality about it. And whenever I've worn vanilla-based fragrances like Ani by Nishane or Imperium by Lectomus London, I get a ton of compliments from them. So this is like a spicy, musky, vanilla, slightly woodsy, but not oody fragrance that also resembles the original, but has probably an enhanced compliment factor and probably a few more hours of longevity over the original. I think this is a solid release. I think Intense at Drop Boise is going to do very, very well. And Mancera has a pretty good finger on the pulse of knowing what's gonna work for consumers in mass, and they did another really, really good job with this fragrance. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now first, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, I mean, this does re resemble the original, so it's not the most unique fragrance. And even in terms of the vanilla that's being used, like I said, I would compare it to the vanilla that is also found in uh, Ani by Nishane or Imperium by Electimus London. So I don't think it's the most unique fragrance on the market, but I think they did something that for many is going to be an improvement over the original. If you're looking for something brighter and fresher, you have to go with the original Cidre Boise. If you're looking for something more resolute, something that's a little bit sweeter, and something that has a bit more of a quirky personality with the spices, although it's not overly spiced, definitely check out the intense version. Longevity on my skin is eight to nine hours. Projection was amazing for the first hour of application. I don't think it ever radiated beyond an arm's length, but it was pretty consistent for like four or five hours. And then it didn't even start to become a skin scent until around that seven to eight hour mark. So very good performance. Versatility, all seasons, all occasions. It does lean a little bit masculine because of the association that many people will have with Predaventus being a men's scent, so Draboise being predominantly masculine. So it does lean a little bit masculine. Anybody of any age can wear this one. And in terms of the presentation, I like Mancera presentations. My final verdict is if you're interested in a high compliment factor, if you like the smell of Cedrapoise or Creed Aventus, and you're a fan of the note of vanilla, you're looking for a potentially darker expression or more intense expression of Cedrapoise, you gotta try intense Cedrapoise. It's a no-brainer. And I think after playing around with this decan for a little while, I'm probably going to invest in a bottle. So I think a purchase will be on the horizon for me. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit that bell so you can be notified whenever I do upload future videos to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. It would really, really mean a lot to me. Thank you so much again. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.